My name is Bill Ritchie, and I'm a co-owner of the Mini Art Gallery in Seattle. We had a guest from October to January. Her name is Rika Nemeth, and she's a graduate student at the Moholy University of Art and Design in Hungary. Her special interest is intaglio printing. So she spent 90 days with me learning the essentials of intaglio design and engraving, etching. You want to be sure that it doesn't have... I introduced her to the basics of intaglio printing, first showing her how to dampen the paper. We used my legacy model mini halfwood press all through the time that she worked here. I started her out on printing using a plate though, from my series of Rembrandt self-portraits that I made last year. We printed on Van Gelder's Zonen paper and uh, I recorded video and she recorded video. We made snapshots all through the time she was here giving us the material for this videotape. I showed her the basics of preparing the papers. My method is to spray the paper and keep it in a damp book until it's ready to use. Using one of her designs based on a horse and a metamorphosing with a woman's figure. I showed her how to transfer her laser uh, image onto contact paper and then to cut out the image with a sharp knife and remove the pieces of contact paper so it could be etched. We backed the plate with shellac and etched it in ferric chloride. When the plate was etched, she removed the contact paper, inked it in two different colors, and printed it for this first trial proof. For her bank, her interest in banknote design, she worked with a self-portrait. She transferred the drawing of her self-portrait to a laser toner on a copper plate with a heat transfer method, and etched the image in very lightly. She had a corner, uh, she had a, a space in the studio by there the was window. One there too, there's one. And I showed her how to remove the bureau from the engraved Change lines. In surface quality. Banknote engraving entails hatching, many, many parallel lines and sometimes crossing, cross-hatching. Periodically, we pulled proofs <laughs> using Charbonnel Sanguine ink and Charbonnel Black ink. I began making a plate to go with her plate, a stamp border image. Periodically, we would use Chine Coulee. I use wheat starch or wheat uh, wheat paste, wheat flour for the method and I sprinkle that powder on so that when it goes through the press the wheat paste is softened and becomes an adhesive and laminates in this case a piece of kita kata paper onto the like base DJs. printing paper what? like DJs, DJs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 it's just yeah. it's just different disc <laughs> I introduced her to the moment number, the year, the month, the day, the hour, and the minute that the proof was pulled, that moment that it was pulled, that magic moment. Here's an example of one of her Shane Collet states of her engraving. Toward the end, or I guess it was at the beginning I showed her how to do dry point when engraving I where you engrave with the point of a dry point needle and then you remove the burr. I have a bag with a label on it if you ever want the label. I like to take quick impressions just working the ink into the plate, put the plate down and printing it on damp paper and using nothing but a burnisher. 
she left us in January of 2019 for the Southeast Asia to work on a film. I'm going to be the Julia Child.